God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I pray that everybody is doing well. I am Jamar Grimsley, and this is Get Right With God, you guys. And um, I thank you for watching. Uh, I have a word on today that I wanted to share. And if you would truly heed this word, uh, hear it, uh, receive it, and apply it into your life, I believe it will truly help you. Um, I know you can see the title of the video and it says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood because demons are your problem, not humans. Demons are your problems, not humans. All right. So um, I have a scripture here and it's very, 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 very a familiar passage of scripture here, you know, and it comes from Ephesians. And it, it, it's about uh, 6 and 12, right? And it's a very familiar passage again. It says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places, right? Okay, I'm just going to read it in another version, uh, which kind of simplifies it kind of it means the same thing but it kind of uh, simplifies it um okay i don't really want, okay it says we are not fighting against human enemies ah my god right it says instead we are fighting against the rulers and the powerful spirits that have authority over this dark world we are fighting against the bad spirits who live in the heavens and when it says the heavens and when it says uh, authority in this dark world, all that means is the spiritual realm. All that means is the spiritual realm. And let me tell you what is in the spiritual realm. What's in the spiritual realm is, is you're there. <laughs> you're there. Your spirit is there. Uh, your blessings are there. Jesus is there. God is there. Angels are there. Demons are. Everything is in the spiritual realm. You know what I'm saying? And I want to say something really quick because... A lot of times when we are about to get a breakthrough, when we are about to get a miracle, when God is about to do something special in your life, you have to know that the devil somehow knows that. So what he's going to do is he's going to come at you with everything he got. That one thing that you do is going to cause you to fall um, out of the will of God. Or you're going to fall into a place of, I can't bless you right now, you know, because the enemy used somebody you know what I'm saying? Use somebody to get you to fall. You know what I'm saying? Whether you 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 begin to maybe fight with somebody, or or you begin to drink uh, alcohol, or you begin to smoke weed, or you begin to do something that is sinful. You understand what I'm saying? After all your holy living, God is about to answer your prayer, but then you fall because of a person. And 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 let me tell you, a lot of times, well. Most times, well, it's not the people. This is saying we wrestle not against flesh and blood, meaning it's not the people. Now, people are made of flesh and blood. So it's talking about against principalities, powers, and things in this dark world, which is things that are in the spirit realm. So what's going on is the devil is using people to take you out of your character, to cause you to do things that you know you should not be doing, things that God will not be pleased with, those things that cause you to miss your miracle, that cause you to miss your breakthrough, that cause you to miss your next level. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not the people, you know? When that person comes up to you for no reason, fussing and fighting and arguing and trying to uh, uh, stir up trouble in your life, it's not the person. And what we're doing is we're on the person. Like we're fighting, fussing, and arguing with the person. But it's not the person. You have to bind the spirit that is in the person. Ah, my God. I remember I was going through some stuff with a family member. And I mean, this, this family member was yelling, cursing in my face. And, you know, just, just screaming down my throat. And I was just kind of, you know, calm. I was angry inside, though. But. I was calm because it was a spirit using him, and I recognized that. The Bible tells us not to be ignorant to the devices of Satan. You know what I'm saying? Meaning, don't be ignorant. You have to know that the devil is out here in this world, and he's doing things. You know what I'm saying? He's out here doing things. He's the God of this world. So everything evil that goes on, 
the devil is down here doing it. You know what I'm saying? Sickness and all of these things are demonic. But if you don't have a spiritual mind, you'll just think, oh, well, that's just the way it is. And that's just the way he is. And that family member that you got that's always angry, that's always uh that family member right there, there's a spirit of anger, which is a demon of anger behind the person. But you may say, oh, well, that's just the way he is. You know, he's just an angry person. So just leave him alone. You know, don't don't get him upset because you just know how. He, but that's a spirit. Those things are not normal. There's a lot of things that are not normal. But because your mind is not spiritual, you're not a, 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 a catching on to that. That is a spirit behind the person. You ever knew somebody to eat, 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 eat uncontrollably? Do you think that's no, that's not normal, but it's a demon of gluttony on the inside. Ah, I don't know if y'all heard that right there. It's a demon of gluttony on the inside. So we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. It's not the people, but they're demons that is working through the people. You understand what I'm saying? So when that friend comes to try to stir you up, get you angry and make you mad and you have to bind the spirit behind the person, go into warfare mode against the spirit behind the person. Let me give you another example, you guys, because we need to know these things and it's really important. Um, you guys know uh, what happened with Peter um, and Jesus, right? Peter said, uh, When, when Peter said uh, what he said, he said, uh, he said, oh, we can't permit this to happen to you, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? They were talking about killing Jesus. He said, we can't permit this to happen to you, Jesus. You know, and, and, and Jesus told him, he said, get behind me, Satan, right? Because if that wouldn't have happened to Jesus, the plan of God would have not came to pass. And Jesus was all about his father's business. So when he said that, he turned to Peter. He said, get behind me, Satan. So he recognized that Satan was using Peter. It says, um, he says, you are being a hindrance to me for you are not setting your mind on the things of God, right? You're not setting your th mind on the things of God, you know, but the things of man, ha, ah, but the things of man. Right. So Peter, he's being used by the devil. But Jesus, with his discernment, he saw that that was the devil. And he said, get behind me, Satan. You know, he told he said, get behind me, Satan. He didn't say Peter because he knew that the devil jumped into Satan. I mean, Satan jumped into Peter and was using Peter. But Jesus immediately said it. Get behind me, Satan. You know what I'm saying? And you guys, a lot of you are not a warring for your blessings because um, your blessings are there. Your blessings are in the realm of the spirit, but there's demons that are holding it. There's spirits that are keeping it from happening. Spirits that want you to stay stagnant. Do you ever do a lot of stuff and nothing ever seems to work and you just spin it? You, you know, you, uh, you can't save money. When you do save money, you can't, you don't know where it is and you just can't get ahead. Paycheck to paycheck, paycheck. It's kind of like the devil uses those things against us. Um, it's a spirit of stagnation, you know, a spirit of, of backwardness. Are you having certain dreams? Um, do you seem like you can't get ahead? Like all of those things are spiritual warfare. You know, are you dreaming about sleeping with demons in your dreams and those are things, that's the spirit husband, spirit wife. Those are things that you have to war against to get those things out of your life because the devil not just going to let us walk into your destiny and go ahead and just do what you want and serve the Lord and, you know, I'll just leave you alone. No, he's going to try. But what we have to do is fight back. The Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. You know what I mean? It's not the people, but Satan is behind all of it. You know, I was talking about the George Foreman, the George Floyd thing. You know, the devil was behind that because he he did all of that. And then the way that we behaved caused more confusion and more ruckus and more. You know what I'm saying? When, when, when we go uh, breaking up stuff and destroying cities and, you know, fighting and arguing and, you know, arguing with the cops. And it's like the devil is he's getting his way. So he's laughing because the way that we respond to his behavior. You understand what I'm saying? George Floyd was being not George Floyd, that cop that killed him was being used by the devil, you know, 
Just like Peter, he didn't intention, you know, he didn't even know that he was saying that against God. Like he didn't realize that, but the devil was using him and he didn't even realize it. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. I know this guy's, he's really is a human and I pray for him because the devil just messed his life up, but he is a human being. He does have a soul and he needs prayer. You know, his wife left him and everything. It was just, it's just an unfortunate event, you know, um, that somebody had to die in that, that manner. But you know, just like that guy, the devil jumped in him and caused him to do what he did. It wasn't him. You understand what I'm saying? So Satan is behind so much stuff and we have to war behind those things. You know, I bind and I rebuke that spirit and such and such and such and such and such. And I command it to leave. Father, let the fire from heaven destroy that spirit that's in such and such and such and such and such. And I command it to leave in the name of Jesus. I call deliverance for such and such. And such. Like you say the prayer. Next thing you know, watch what I tell you. That person that, that, that you prayed that prayer for, next thing you know, they're, they're going to be, they're not going to even be like they were. You understand what I'm saying? They're not going to be behaving in the manner that they were before. You understand what I'm saying? So, but you have to war against it. Every blessing that God has for you, he said, I, I, I have them prepared and they're already in heavenly places, which is the spirit realm. And that's where the devil is. Angels. So your things are there. So if God has promised you something and you have not received it and you've been waiting, you have to war for that thing. Everything that the enemy has stole from me, I command him to let it go right now. I command my blessings to come forth. Everything from the east, the north, the south, and the west. I, like, I, I command everything to come forth and to come into my life that is being held up by the devil. And I command a hundredfold return in the name of Jesus. So a lot of times if you're not fighting, you guys, it's, 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 we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's not against the people. It's not against the people. So you may think that it's the person that's doing it, but you got to fight against the spirit that is behind the person. You understand what I'm saying? So your, 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 your fight is not with the people. And let me tell you what the devil is doing. The devil is using this person, using this person, using this. He jumps into this one and you fighting with the person. Satan went on to the next one, went on to the next one, went on to the next one. And you still fighting with the person. You know what I'm saying? But it's not the people. It's not the people, you guys. It's not the people. It's never the people. So you have to uh, recognize that and don't even fall into the trap of the enemy. Somebody can't argue by themselves, right? <laughs> but you start binding and rebuking that spirit and sending that thing to hell by the fire of the Holy Ghost. You watch how much of a change happened. You begin to call your blessings, everything that Satan stole from you. I commanded to be returned in the name of Jesus by the fire of the Holy Ghost, by force in the name of Jesus. Everything that belongs to me, I commanded to be returned. Like you have to fight against, you know what I'm saying? Against those things. Like the devil's just going to keep them if you just, oh, well, you know, um, my check just being held up and, you know, this thing been in lawsuit for five years and you know I'm owed the money I just can't keep to get it they're just not letting it loose and they keep but it's the devil a lot of times that's fighting that thing because he knows when you get your 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 money or or whatever you're waiting on that is going to be a blessing to you and it's going to be a blessing um to the kingdom or however you're gonna spend it um you know well anyway the devil just doesn't want you to receive it so you have to anything that's gonna help you to prosper he don't want you to receive it and you have to war against it. You understand what I'm saying? Those things that are not normal, those things that are, it's just not normal. You know, why are you waiting on your settlement when you won the case five, 10 years ago, you're still waiting? Like, is that normal? No, you have to war again. Call my money into, into being. I'm calling that thing into the natural. Every demon holding my money, I command you to die by the fire and the power of the Holy Ghost and let it be loosed in the name of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to fight for those things, those things that are not normal. You understand what I'm saying? War against them because it's never the person, it's never people. It's, 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 um, you may think, oh, this is just being held up in court and they're waiting on a lawyer to do this and, you know, but you done settled your case five, 10 years ago and you still haven't gotten your, you know what I'm saying? So those things are not normal. So you have to be uh, uh, aware of things that are not normal because those are the things that the devil is fighting you with. You know what I'm saying? Those are the things that the devil is fighting you with. And I just wanted to bring this message because, um, 
I don't know. I just felt it in my spirit. I, I kept hearing that scripture and I said, I wanted to share this word because it's going to help a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you've been looking for work, 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 and you're not getting anything. You're not finding a job, you know, like, so those things, the enemy fights anything that's going to cause you to move forward in life. You know what I'm saying? The enemy is going to fight you about that thing. He's not going to make it easy. You understand what I'm saying? So you have to know that your fight is not against the people, but the devil is behind it. You understand what I'm saying? It's the devil that's behind it. It's not the people. So we have to get that into our minds. Like I say, when the person in my family was yelling and screaming down my throat, I was calm. You know, I was mad on the inside. I felt like just, but the demon would have used me too. Like I'd have been arguing with the person and that thing was hurting me too, boy. But you got to realize it's never the person. But after I got out the presence of the person, I went into warfare mode like never before. Next thing I know, when I came back around, I'm telling you the person wasn't acting like that. They was just nice, just like nothing happened. So I went away and I, I cast the demon of anger out of that person. You know what I'm saying? Because we all got angels. You got to send them to do the work. Send them angels to such and such whoever the person is and command them to destroy that demon of anger and such and such. It's like you got to war for these things, war against it because the devil is fighting you guys and he's not going to make it easy. You understand what I'm saying? So we have to fight back. You know, we have to fight back, fight back with the word of God. You got to fight back. You know, again, he's not going to make it easy. So sometimes you have to war for your breakthrough, war for your miracle, war for that thing that God has promised you that has not happened yet. You know, you have to war for it. You guys, you can't just pray and read your Bible. And I mean, you can do that. You need to do that. But what I'm saying is your prayers have to be warfare. Sometimes there's different type of prayers. You get intercessory prayer. You can do supplication prayer. You know, you can pray for yourself and, and, and you can pray for, um, again, other people and stuff like that. But there's also a prayer called warfare prayer. And you have to war for your blessings, war for your miracles, war for what God promised you that the devil's holding up. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I just wanted to bring that word. And it's a tip, you guys. And I pray that you guys would receive that and not just receive it and hear it but apply it because it's going to help somebody and may you guys testify you know of the miracle working deliverance power of the lord oh yes thank you jesus if, it, if he can't do it it can't be done you guys but i just felt i wanted to bring that word and i'm sure somebody needed to hear it so you have to and if you don't know prayers to pray go on google google is my that's the main thing like i mess with google you know google is that's my best friend. Whenever you don't, when you need anything to know anything, scriptures or how to handle this, and you don't know where to look, type it in Google. Google will get you the answer to it. I'm telling you, Google is 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 that's Google is all right there, y'all. Google is all right. But yeah, you guys, uh, I pray that you guys again received something from this, and um, again, get you some prayers. And it may not be immediate. It may not be instant. But after a while, you just keep warring. You just keep warring. You just keep warring. You just, maybe not, you don't have to do it in the same day, but continue to pray it. Pray it two, three times a day if you can. Next day, two, three times. You keep doing it. Something is going to break in the realm of the spirit. So it's kind of like a brick wall, right? And you hitting it with a hammer. You just keep hitting it. Your warfare prayers is hitting it. And a while that brick wall was going to happen, it's going to, uh, it's going to get like a crack. You know, like a, a spider web, like a hairline crack. You just keep hitting it. 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 And that thing going to shatter and things going to begin to work in your life. You know what I'm saying? But just continue to war after that thing. You just continue to war. And after a while, you're going to be like, wow, this spiritual warfare is real. You know what I'm saying? To, and don't give up because you may think, oh, nothing has happened because I don't see anything happen. But the devil doesn't even want you to pray. Because your prayers are hitting hard in the realm of the spirit. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of you try to pray and start falling asleep. A lot of you try to read your Bible and start falling asleep. That's demons. That's stuff in the, in the realm of the spirit. It's not flesh and blood. It's not people. Like those things are, it's the devil spinning spirits over to you. So you won't read your Bible. So you won't pray. And this spirit right here is called a spirit of slumber. Spirit of slumber. It's the same spirit that the disciples was uh, dealing with when they kept falling asleep. And Jesus said, can you not just wait with me one hour? But there's a warfare prayer. If you go online and look for spirit of slumber, that's what that spirit is that causes one to go to sleep like that when they try to read their Bible. But the devil don't want you to pray. He don't want you to read your Bible because he knows that those are weapons. You know what I'm saying? 
So yeah, just be careful, you guys, and just follow the leading of the Spirit and, you know, let God do what he needs to do in your life. You know, God has already uh, promised you blessings, you know, in heavenly places, you know, so you have to sometimes go and war for those things. And I just wanted to share that word. So your problem is not against humans. It's never against humans, but it's against um, demons and devils and evil spirits and powers in the spiritual realm that are holding up your blessings. Some of you guys don't know, but your money's in a cage. Like the demons are holding your money in a cage. And you gotta sometimes send the power of the Holy Ghost to destroy that cage and destroy the demon that's holding it and loose your money. You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of these things are not normal. So if you just do some warfare prayer, you will see, oh my God. And you're going to come back and testify. You're going to say, oh, the man of God is right. Some people are already doing this, so not for everybody, but those that aren't. Because I felt led to come on here and um, share this word. So I pray that you guys receive something from it. Again, my name is Jamar Grimsley. I, and it's, the name of this program is Get Right With God. The name of my channel is Get Right With God Ministries. Please make sure that you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment down below. And make sure you turn on the notifications bell so that when I upload, you guys will be notified. All right. All right. I love you guys. Until next time, you guys be blessed. Take care.